Right, so tonight I'm just doing a quick bivy bag camp. Like work life, you take vacations off work, weeks off work. I'm doing that with YouTube, so this will be the last video that I upload for a week or two now. I just need a little bit of time uh, off camera. It's just like normal working life, really. The amount of work that goes behind YouTube, once you've uploaded your video, it's more than just recording. So I am going away for a week. I'll probably do a beach camp there and then uh, upload that in a couple of weeks. I do just need some time off. Actually, we're going to go this way. I do need some time off from YouTube, really. So I just thought this would be the last video I make. Be the back camp. In a second, I'll show you what I'm going to have for my dinner. I've just had almost a full Sunday roast. So I will be eating my dinner later on. So what I'm going to have to eat later, these fiery spice, oh, chili fire extreme intense noodles. Instant noodles, intense, instant noodles. Say that part again, Daniel, will you? Chili fire extreme flavored instant noodles last time i had these these were real bad to be fair to you it feels strange saying i'm gonna have a little bit of time off youtube so i've been youtubing like for seven years now this channel proper digging at it for about three years and stuff but i've had other channels in the past and i'm on about setting up another channel as well so I definitely need the break. I hope people can understand. I'm sure your life won't be over not seeing me for a week or so. It's just, sometimes you need to stop and relax, don't you? And that's what's due. Nice evening as well. Really nice evening. I've never been this far before. So, I thought I'd film it to be fair for some strange reason. So you can go up there. Or, you can take this path. You know what, I'm gonna to stick to the path down here. Just keep walking. Now this is what's good about being outdoors free food if I can reach them yeah I don't want that one do I I think it's gonna focus all right there it's a bit bad that one mmm very nice free food You know how much they cost to buy at Tesco's now? A lot of money. Now you may realize through the video that I don't use this finger much. <laughs> I was uh, playing with one of my dogs and he's got like the strongest bloody bite in the world, you know. And to tell you what you're ripping up, I went to grab the other leg and he decided to re-grip the uh, teddy and my finger sort of got in the way and it's quite a nasty cut so I've had to get some uh, be a bit of a girl here some butterfly stitches put on no I had to have some uh, butterfly stitches put in place because it was probably an hospital job to be fair but I'm used to cutting myself with the job that I do and nine times out of ten if I cut myself at work and it's pretty deep I just stick butterfly stitches over it and then a plaster and that's exactly what I've done with this one here so you might see i'm i'm like that this tonight and this finger's like sticking out like this little piggy went to the market <laughs> yeah so if you notice that's what's happened it's not my pup's fault it's only one so it's really really giddy and boisterous at the moment i want to bring him out camping but i need him to settle down first now i see a few spots up there where looks quite a good idea to camp 
If I'm talking too much, put it in comments. But I know a lot of you guys, well my followers, don't like it when I don't talk. People seem to think it's more interesting when I talk away. Plus by I'm by myself out, so talking at camera for me is a better company. Plus I can talk much as I want and it doesn't answer back. <laughs> I'll tell me to shut up. Right, when I get over there, I'll bring you back. Just come across these old gates. There must have been something important up there to have gates like this back in the back in the days. And then they've got these here. They're very old them. I think it does mean keep out but I won't have a look now. So it looked like a lot of people have been walking this way here because of the path. But that woodland there, it's all fenced off. Well, it would have been if it's not all been pushed down anyway. Here, the fence is there. And then here, the fence is over. Just wondering if it's worth going to have a look. Mind you, it's trespassing, isn't it? Yeah, I think we'll stay on the opposite side, really. Mm. You know, we can't go in, we can't go in. You know, people might complain about it, but... You know, if you leave no trace where you've been, I don't think it really matters. And there, I'm only walking through. I won't be back camping here. But it does like a lot of people coming here as well. Wow, it's quite a big piece of woodland this. Won't mind setting up a trail camera, but then would it get nicked? That's the thing I'm thinking. This goes on for ages. Someone's been here. There's a lot of rubbish around here. Yeah, look at the state of this. Does get used, doesn't it? What a mess. Even over here, this is worse. That tells you a lot that does there. They're doing them balloons out there. Right, let's make his way back to the puffer. Feels like weed in here. Feels like the sort of woodland where you can get lost and you don't know where you're going. I've never been here before. No, I didn't walk that way, I came from down here. Yeah. Felt a bit weird on my foot that I did. <coughs> Anyway, let's walk down here. We'll get out of here and back on track that I came to be on. Is this the right way? <laughs> I'll bring you back soon because very easily. Yeah, we walked up and across. This must be way out. It's gotta be. Oh, I don't know, you know. Yeah. There we go, we'll just walk this way. You know, I meant to ask in one of my other videos on people's thoughts about Bithy Bag Camping. Just comment below, let me know which one you like the best. 
to do yourself if you do outdoor camping. Do you like bivy bags, tents or hammocks? It's always interesting, I always forget to ask myself. I like tent camping a whole lot. But and then, oh what's happening here? Let's redo this. There we go. But I, uh, I also enjoy bivy bag camping because it's so easy to sort out in it. It's just so easy to do. So yeah, let me know in the comments below which one you like. And if you've got a YouTube channel, drop it into the comments as well. I'll check your channel. I'll check your channel out. Even if you think I'm subscribed to your channel already, just oh, this camera's doing me head and I. Yeah, camera went off. <laughs> yeah, so if you think I'm already subscribed to your channel, you can still put it in the uh, comments below, please. So I'm going to check them all out. Even though I'm not going to be editing videos and stuff and uploading, I'll catch up on other people's channels and stuff like that. So yeah, go on, comment please. Let me see your channel. That'd be interesting to see what other people get up to. Tell you what I have been getting into a lot and it's really weird of me is uh, watching family holidays. <laughs> Very strange. Because <laughs> I'm going abroad next year for the first time. I uh, I started watching abroad videos and I started watching family vlogging videos, you know, on an holiday. And that's fantastic. What a good idea memories that is. Right, I see a little spot already where I might go check out and have a look. Yeah, and your video don't have to be about your channel, I mean, it don't have to be about camping either. As long as it's not, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? As long as it's decent to watch. I like that spot over there. Yes. All right, so just in here, Look, a brilliant place for a bivy bag camp. Plenty of flat grass, but then I've noticed these. See in the distance, in the field? I don't think you can see them now, I've just sorted the light out on it. But there, the cows are making their way through the field and they have access to that field there. And then you see that gate there? I don't think you can. Let me come around here a bit. See the gate here? That gives them access to this field as well. I'll sit and wait for a minute and see how far they come. Right, the cows have made the way into that field. Yeah, even if they don't make the way now, they will do later. They are in that field, I'm not waiting. I'm not gonna be set up and then an hour later I'm having to move. They can get in here. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like cows the slightest. I don't mind eating them, but I don't like cows at all. So over there, if you can see it, some woodland. I'm gonna go look in there. That strong the uh, sun is strong tonight. Yeah, so I'm going to go look in that woodland. I'll have a little look around there. Yeah, there's not worse than getting set up and then you haven't to move. Something's really up with this camera tonight. There we go. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not putting myself through that. Getting set up and comfortable. Just been moving on. I think the woodlands look pretty decent. Gooey! I'm waving to myself on grass. <laughs> Am I wrong in head or what? <laughs> Alright, I'll bring you back when I get there. Public footpath. I wonder why a lot of people walk on here then. See in this tree, tree here.
Now I know this may sound really geeky and ridiculous, but I do geocaching. <laughs> I don't mention that much on the channel, but I like to go around with the geocaching app and find uh, hidden geocaches. And apparently there's one in this tree and it says the fence is magnetic. So that tells me something's magnetic. And it says in the thing, it's always looked like it's Christmas. This likes a Christmas tree. So it says magnetic. So let's have a look. It's got to be somewhere on the fence, hasn't it? Geocaching will be the bad camping. That's a bit of a thing to say, isn't it? This is what you look for, little black tubs. There's the magnet, that's how it's stuck to the fence like that. From that magnet. There's notes on when people last found it and then you're supposed to leave something in it. Someone's left like this little toy. You're supposed to have a pen or a pencil to mark it say you found it but what I'll do is I'll go on app now because I was just sitting on that wall well, watching cows just looking for geocaches so I'll mark on app that I found that one and then cover it back up exactly where I found it yeah, let's go to your app store, put in geocache. It's like a little uh, green four squares. It's pretty smart to do if you're going out just for a walk, you can try and find them. Right, let's find somewhere to bivy bag camper. <laughs> Let me know what you think of geocaching in the comments below. Have you tried it yourself? I'm interested to know. Right, just made my way into a bit of woodland. Look like someone or something keeps coming up and down here anyway. So we'll take this path without me falling back too much. <clears throat> it's quite steep this. <clears throat> Dig them feet in lad. Oh. Doesn't seem too bad does it? Some shouting in the distance. That'll be from that uh, cricket club, won't it? Or football, whatever they're doing. Whew. I think it's like a nice little spot. We've got the uh, sunset in that direction. Whew, slightly out of breath walking up that bit of a hill. Very unfit, Daniel. That area. Been a bit of a fire there previously. But this looks nice. I'm liking this spot. Just got to find out what I'm thinking. Thinking here, so I can use the tree as a backrest. So I've got a nice little backrest here. See how the tree grows out to be two. Oh yes just having that on each side of my back is really comfortable <sighs> what a nice little spot this is yeah it's local it's not far away from home at all 20 minute walk maybe it was it's fantastic to be fair
What I might do in a bit is eat my noodles. Not yet though. A little packet, but I'm telling you, these kick out some heat. Yum, yum, sum, yum, sum. I don't know. Yeah, these kick out some heat, these do. <laughs> I must be wrong in my head. You know, it's to be fair, I know it does sound a bit crazy, but. I don't get paid to end up week and family life takes control of everything and we try to save up to go on holiday so saving some money by eating some out of the cupboard isn't a bad thing to do really it's better than going to spend a lot of money on food when it's unnecessary isn't it yeah i had one person saying you must be making hundreds of thousands a year off of youtube yeah of course i am that's why I still got to work every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? People just think it's because you're a YouTuber that you make a load of money. They must be living in a fancy world. Honestly, it's, it's ridiculous what people think. As soon as you say, oh, I'll make a little bit of money on my channel. They're just, they're just people presume that you, you're minted and you've got a load of money laying around where you want. Because the money that you do make on, on your channels, you just pump it back into doing something else. Or getting other things like I've just got the uh, Promoli locomotive tent a video below this that costs just under 200 pounds so what the channel make let's put it back in and plus I'm not after making load of money off the channel I don't do it for the money if you did YouTube for the money well you'd just be forever chasing your dreams because if it were that good everyone would be doing it every minute of the day wouldn't they i just do this because i've built up a following base you know regular commenters and stuff and you know i, I just built up a nice following base i like to chat to people i like to share my experience with what i'm up to because people like to watch them as well that didn't sound too good well it's jet boil i got it second hand I didn't go buy it brand new, couldn't afford to do. I could have done, but I got the tent. <laughs> it's life, isn't it? The thing is, we all want some of what we can't have. People want happiness in the families. That's very hard to get across. There's always some going on in the families, isn't it? It's making it hard work and stuff. Do I want to retire and leave my job and do YouTube full time? No, because if you do that, then you've got to think about what's your go-to thing away from work. Because YouTube's my go-to thing from work. You know, I work all week, I've got my family life. Me getting out and doing things like this, having a night out, camping and stuff, is my little bit of a, a get out to family life, isn't it? That's just the way it is. Don't know why I smell that. Them cows are in that field now. Good job we got out of there. Yeah, it seems like they're playing football over there. I thought it was cricket for some reason. I like how that changes colour. I really do. But I couldn't justify that colour changing to buy a brand new one.
going to be out Friday night, but I'm going away Saturday, so I've got a bit of a drive as well. So I didn't want to be tired, and it's going to throw it down Friday night as well. And rain camping is really good. Hello? I hope I got that on camera. I really hope I did. Because if I didn't, and I'm showing this, people won't believe that. Just my heart's beating a bit quicker there. I'll just give you a full circle round of what I'm looking at. Now, apart from them in the distance playing whatever they're doing, whatever sport they're doing, football or something, I've just heard like some or someone walked literally past me. And I mean literally walked past me. That is strange. And that is strange. I'm gonna put it down, there could just be in something behind me here. But it sounded like human footsteps. Let's finish my coffee. I do not want my brain to start overthinking at all. I'm gonna play that back and see if I heard that on the camera when I was recording, talking about going away this Friday. So I even said that wrong, because I'm going away Saturday morning. <laughs> I don't wanna play the footage back. Let's have a listen to it. Is that a badger? Hello? So let me know in comments, did you wear that noise? I heard it, I played it back, I can hear it. But because I heard it, I don't know if it sounds louder than it is. It's just one of these things where you just need to go, find the reason. <laughs> Let me know in comments below what that sounded like. Because I'm convinced it sounded like some or someone were walking past me very, very clearly as day that one. Right. I'm gonna uh, crack on, I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm not gonna let it bother me, honestly. As soon as I says hello, started looking around, it went, it just stopped. Right, I'm gonna stop thinking about it. That's gonna be virtually impossible. At the moment, I've got that noisy background, so it's sort of like takes my mind off it. But I know full well when that quietens down, I'm really thinking like an idiot.
I'm going to cook my noodles. That'll take my mind off things. But I'm glad this footage will... Oh, God, I can't even think now. I'm glad I've got it on this footage. Last time someone were outside my tent, you could hear them, but very, very faint. And some people saying yeah, and some people saying no. And it caused, you know, quite a lot of comments saying it was fake and stuff. To what I've heard on the playback, you can clearly hear that noise. And it's daytime and nobody walked past. And yeah, it is eight o'clock at night, but nobody walked past. Yes, I'll stop making a big deal out of it. I can hear you saying it now. Let's do my noodles eh? Right, so I've taken the pot off from the jet boil. I'm using this old OEX boiling cup. It's got all the wind, uh, wind block and heat exchanger in there. And I'm gonna up, yeah, I think I can balance it on there like that. It should work. The reason why I'm using this is I don't wanna be putting chili noodles in the jet boil. So I bought, if I bring this with me, then I can use this instead. Let me put some water in like that. And then get some gas flow. Eh? So this is your chilli, chilli powder and these uh, summer vegetables, dried out chopped vegetables. There we go, let's give that a break like that. And then we'll put the top on and let it boil. I wish I would have brought a tent now. I think when you're in your tent, you just feel that little bit more safer sort of thing. I know I sound like a right wimp, and somebody's sitting there probably shaking their head at me. But it's all right that, but when you're in this situation, you wear something a bit creepy. It can freak you out, and because you're by yourself, you know, your brain thinks crazy stuff, and you have to try to tell yourself, look, just calm down, get over it. It was just a noise. It could have been anything. But yeah, I wish I would have brought a tent. But I didn't. So there we go. This is the right cup for this, but it doesn't seem to fit. Let's have this damn up. Oh yeah, that's better. Gotta do it like that. I'm doing it this way. So it won't sit in very well with this part here. So how it like dips in there. So you need to... Oh, my hand was falling off. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Oh, cracking. What a bright idea, that one. There we go. Yeah, if you do it like that, it fits in perfectly. Not quite ready yet. So after August, I'm really going to start chucking a lot of camping videos on the channel, at least one a week. And we are going to really push the camping videos for the back end of the year now. A lot of hot tent camping, a lot of standard tent camping, maybe some hammock camping. But we are going to seriously, when I say we, I'm on about myself, obviously. Really, I'm going to start doing a lot, a lot of camping. 
Uh, I don't know if you're a follower to the channel. If not, you know, do consider hitting that subscribe button. I did a camp a couple of weeks ago with a stranger called Rob, his name was. And uh, he wants to come out camping more. He seemed to be an all right lad. I've had a, a good few conversations with him now. So I said to him, look, if you want to join me on some more camps, you're more than welcome. He wants to get out camping a lot, but he's not found someone decent enough to camp with. And Vegan Dan's back on the scene now for camping. Scott ain't yet. So it's good company if uh, Rob wants to come out and do some camping as well. You know, solo camping by itself's all right, but like then I heard that noise. It freaked me out. But if there's somebody else here, you'd just laugh it off, wouldn't you? You feel a little bit more safer with numbers, should I say. And it might, I might be being a wimp. But I just find, you know, sometimes company. When something happens, it's always a little bit better, isn't it? Let's say. So, yeah, there will be a lot of videos being pushed out from September onwards. Especially tent camping. Hot tent camping in back end of October, November, December. So, I do look forward to that. Hot tent camping, right? Get that stove going. Get the biggest, juiciest steaks we can find. I was going to have a little fire here tonight, but with it being dry and everything, I don't want to cause a look, you know, grass fire and stuff like that. I really don't want to be the problem for that happening. Plus, there's no around here to make like a little rock face, you know, to go around as a fire. My noodles are almost done. And then we're sticking the spices. Yeah, tent camping. I won't be camping in like a one man tents either. It'll be decent two or three man tents. The last thing you want in winter time is to be cooped up in a small tent. It's just long, long nights. You want a bit of room where you can sit up and move around in. But I am looking forward to hot tent camping. Especially now I've just got that new Pomoli tent. Right, I'm just chatting rubbish here. I'll see you in a bit. I should have really used this. So just balancing it on top. This will go on. go on that does it let's turn gas off a minute I'm not burning my fingers for nothing why will it work Yeah, I don't want to fit that. Part of the reason why the fella sold it in the first place. So here's a question for you. When do you add the spice? let's say the flavouring do you do it as it's boiling or do you pour some of the water out once it's done add the flavour and mix it up because either way I do it somebody always says on the channel but it's wrong last time I had these when I ended up car camping someone says to me oh no you're supposed to put it in as the water's boiling and someone said mix it afterwards like I did so it's one of these things where which is the right and which is the wrong way I'd say drain some of the water out and then mix it up. I can't imagine you do it the way around because if you pour some of the water out or if you don't pour it out, then you've got like a, well, I'm going to have like a, a super chilli soup drink afterwards, that. Eh? So 
how would you do it? If you do it in the water, let's say, if I do it now, and then I pour some of the water out, afterwards, I waste the flavouring, don't I? So I say I'm gonna pour it out, and then put the flavouring on. Let me know which way you like to do it in comments. I don't know why I keep messing around with it. There's that noise again now. Hello? Hello? You got a bit of that. There's nobody here. And it sounds like something's just walking around. I can handle it won't can you wear it? How can I is that it's like it's just there. I need to drain some of this out. No, I'm not crying because I'm nervous and babbing myself and crying because <coughs> Wow <laughs> that's what So I've got to put the full packet in as well eh? I uh <sighs> get a colour of that I am nervous I'm not going to lie. Doing it once is alright. But two times. It almost sounded identically the same sort of noise. I don't like this. I don't like this spot. I don't like any of this. If he does it one more time, then I'm moving. Just had a bit of a uh, veg tomato noodles. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not having that. It's two times now. And I'm, I'm, I don't need to look back on the footage because I know you better hear it. You do see people's videos on YouTube like this and you always think, well, it's just a bit of noise, what's up with you, outdoors in nature. But I can't explain that. I'm, I hope you lot can, at least somebody. You know, I already said in the beginning of the video, I'm local, I'm not millions of miles away from anybody. You, I think you've heard the lads who were playing football. I think you can hear the idiot in the background of a car, a pow powerful car. So I am in the middle of, you know, like urban area, let's say. 
but to where that's so close and no one's around. Have my noodles there. Because Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> because that's happened now. The wives are continuous looking around. Here we go. That's when I know something <coughs> a bit too spicy for me. Listen out for noises now. Bloody hell, these are spicy little sheds. So I thought that's where wow, these are so spicy. Makes me to see someone just walk past in like a, a camouflage suit. Well, I didn't see. That would put my mind to rest a little bit. Ugh, give over now. Enjoy your noodles. <sighs> I know someone will say, well you knew they were hot last time. Why have them again? Uh, not quite being a wimp about it, is there? <coughs> See, my other channel, what I'm thinking about doing is. Oh, one of two things. <clears throat> one way I go back to what I used to do a long time ago and that's eating all the hottest chilies in the world and uh, all the most sour stuff in the world Trinidad scorpion chilies ghost chilies and stuff like that I'm thinking about starting that again with my brother-in-law and I've been watching a lot of videos where it goes where to go check out the worst hotels in England at cheapest B&B's in Blackpool and stuff like that these do come with some kick yeah, so it's one or two of them ch channels. Let me know which one you'd like to see the most of. Heating, heating, eating the world's hottest ch chilies and sour sweets or food and stuff, or checking out the world's, well, UK's worst hotels and stuff. Wow, them noodles are spicy but nice as well. Whew. I had to make another drink. Whew. And then I had to put a little bit of water, water in it to cool it down. <laughs> I'm eating them now thinking 
you could be eating anything here, Dan. Steak, onions, peppers, and stuff, but no. <laughs> You're eating these stupid spicy noodles. I've eaten them all. That took my mind off of things. One side of my tongue is like burning. If you're over in UK, and you all know where I got them from, you can get them off Amazon, but you also get them from farm foods or home bargains or B&M. Mainly farm food and home bargains. Jesus, they're still burning. They're gonna be hot on the way out as well. Hiccups. Starting to lose light a little bit, so I will get set up soon. Whew. Not heard no more no noises now. I'm just putting it down so it could have been an animal. We have got a lot of built up bushes behind there, so I just put that down to that. Yeah, we'll be doing a beach camp with an uh, OEX tent. It's a beach camping. We'll be on in a couple of weeks. Like I said at the beginning of this video, for me it's a couple of hours ago. Oh, there we go, it's on now. Uh, it'll be a week, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. I need a rest from it, really. A rest from feeling like I need to upload videos. And yeah, you probably guessed it. I'm chatting away to take my mic off of what's happened recently. So I'm gonna go and look up on YouTube these noodles and I'm gonna see other people's reactions to them. Right, so it's starting to get darker now and to be fair, I'm, I am starting to be nervous after what happened earlier. Them noodles, you can buy them off Amazon. If I remember, I'll share a link in the description for you to go find them. <coughs> Yeah, I'm a bit nervous now, to be fair. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to make out that I'm a big macho man because I'm not. <coughs> it happened twice. One time I could accept it. Second time, it's a bit different. I want to set up. I really do. But I don't want to bail either. I don't just want to go. Just go home. I am, I'm being honest, I'm not lying about it, I am getting nervous. I've just been sitting here watching a load of people eat them noodles on uh, YouTube. Some people are saying there's no to them. I don't know if they're having a different pack to me, but by God, they blow my mind off. My mind off, blow my head off. The birds are coming in to nest at night now as well. To be fair, I, I I can't get it over my head. I've listened back to it and someone said you shouldn't have done, but I did. And it sounds like someone's walking, but it's really dry. And it, it's not, it, it is dry, but we've had a lot of rain. So it's not like the grass is that crunchy and then I'm, I'm like I said I'm I'm just wondering if I'm staying here for night why do I just go find somewhere else to camp well I've got a bit of daylight left I know what will happen by the time it gets dark I start getting bloody nervous water and I'm thinking why didn't I go then? Well it was lighter. 
Let me know what you'd do in the comments below, please. I want to know what you'd do. Would you think, bugger it, I'm just going to stay here. I don't care, me, no, it scares me. Or would you just go look for somewhere else to camp? Or would you just go home? <laughs> that's my that, that, that's my two thoughts at the moment. I'll abandon camp and just go. Or find somewhere else to camp out from this woodland. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below, please, what you'd do. And if you agree, it's a bit nerve-wracking, because I know you could hear it. Give the video a thumbs up, please. Just so I know I'm not the only one being a wimp with that. Right, so this is my equipment. What I'm going to use, I'm just going to set up and get on with night. Air mat, bivy bag, and then my 200 sleeping bag. I don't need anything too thick tonight. It's not cold at all. And then my trusty puller. One of the best things I brought for camping that. So I've just put my head torch on, just so I can have a little bit of light. I've just watched the footage back and setting the bivy bag up. I've noticed it's pretty, not crystal clear. <clears throat> the last thing I really want to do is have no light going anywhere. But we are getting less and less light now. No head no, no else now. So I'm pretty relaxed. I'm just gonna shake it off and get on with night. Yeah, a nice campfire would do well, wouldn't it? I don't really burn in things. Plus, I don't really see a lot of dead fallen wood anyway, to be fair. I'm not cutting out down just for a fire. It's good to be out there, people. If you're not one of the people you know, who does this and you want to do it, well, be that person. Get up. Get outdoors and get camping. Just be that person that does it. I said it a lot on this channel and a lot of people have started camping for me saying that. Don't be put off by these noises that I've heard, you know. I don't know what it was, but I'm over it if I stop thinking about it. Don't let things like this put you off. You know, you see other things on YouTube as well. Try not to let things put you off. Go with a friend or a family member, you know, it's just somebody with you. I'd be a lot calmer, or well, I would have been earlier if there's somebody with me. I said that already. You just can't let some things get to you. I say that, but if you started doing it again, I'd be convinced and I'd, I'd probably go back over in that field somewhere. I just didn't like it, that's what it was. <laughs> the unknown, let's say. But yeah, get out and be that person. Take a friend with you get out camping just be responsible take your stuff with you don't have no crazy fires setting fire to things just be respectable respectable respectful can't wait to do a beach camp though like i said that'll be on in a week or two maybe two weeks something like that keep peating and noodles you know Whew. right i'll bring you back in a bit I've just heard the noise again, but not as much. I didn't want to turn the camera on, okay? It was just like a quick.
I don't like it in here. Everything's just telling me no, honestly. I'm actually breaking wind. I'm, I'm quite scared, people. I'm not going to pretend I'm not. I am quite scared right now. If it's a human and they come up and laugh at me, scare the hell out of me, but it, I, I, I don't think I can sleep here. This is going to be a long night if I'm nervous like this and scared now. I don't even know what this sound is. It's not like it was, it's like whoosh, whoosh, and then it stops. I am absolutely myself right now. I'm only talking to you guys because it sort of like helps me a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest, I can't stay here now. I'm going to be a wimp. I don't care if people call me a wimp in the comments. I can't stay here. I'm, I'm too unsettled. I'm nervous. I've done camping like this a load of times. I think I'm gonna go find somewhere else to get this bivvy set up. But I, I'm leaving this spot. Like now. So I packed my stuff away. And already I'm regretting it. <laughs> I'm regretting packing away. But I just keep doing it. I've got one side of me telling me to stop being stupid. It's an animal, it's animals. And I've got other side saying, well, didn't sound like that earlier. And it keeps doing it. I'm not just working myself up because you've heard it for yourself. Somebody's going to jump to the video now and come right to this point and say it were nothing. Listen back. Listen back to the to the sounds early on in the video. And if you believe there's not going on, explain them noises to me seriously. Explain that rustle noise like someone's walking right past me. So I can't explain them and that's what's worrying me the most. That's why I need to move. If I don't move, now, and I'm up all night, Just ruined my night, Anna. I am so nervous right now, and I'm not going to pretend about it, I'm not going to bid myself up. I'm 40 odd years old in a couple of days, and them noises freak the hell out of me. Come on, let's go. Let's quick look around. Make sure I haven't forgotten out. Right. Well, I put my torch away. And I've only got the light on the top of the phone. And I need to find my way down from here. If I had my camera GoPro, I could use my phone as a light as well. I've just rammed everything in the bag at once. 
that woodland is so scary. Right, I can't see where I'm going, so I'll bring you back in a minute. You know, I say it, don't I? Be that person. But only be that person when it's safe, you're relaxed and you're happy. I don't know what's in that woodland. I don't know what was going on earlier, or the noises that I heard, what made me pack up. I'm not going to reset up camp. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to head off home. I'm too nervous. I don't care what people want to put. People can call me a wimp, call me what they want. People will probably leave the channel, it's up to them. But it's me in this situation. It was me that felt the nerves, it was me that felt unhappy. It was me that felt scared. And they're not anybody else. It's 10 o'clock at night. Enough time to get home, easily enough. Yeah, it was me up there, me feeling the scaredness. Someone's gonna, some people are gonna say a lot of stuff. That's just the way it goes. But I'm still going to upload this video to show people sometimes things do happen and this happens. And I know full well you lot heard that sound as well twice at least. Hopefully I'll see you next time once I've had a couple of weeks break from this. Thanks for watching this pointless video.